Got to show you this out in the tropics. This is way out in the middle of the Atlantic. For reference, here's Orlando, and a couple thousand miles to the east, we've got a tropical wave, which the Hurricane Center is giving a 70% chance to develop. In doing so, this could become a tropical depression this weekend. It's a compact little system, and so it can spin up quickly, but the computer models, the culmination of, take it into the Caribbean Sea. Uh, now, typically, this area is sort of the graveyard for tropical systems. There's a lot of wind shear that can happen, and it can kind of tear it apart. It's called the graveyard of the Caribbean Sea, but if it holds together, it would work into Central America. It could maybe redevelop. I mean, the water's really warm down there, so all bets are off this season. We'll watch it carefully, but at this point, Florida is not in play. Here is a look at that system. It's just a, a little tiny system, but you can see that spin is so defined. It's a little spitfire, and it's over tropical ocean water, about 85, 86 degree water, just open ocean. So it's going to continue to move toward the west, and we'll track it for you. Meanwhile, Tropical Storm Dawn up here in the upper Atlantic Ocean, northern Atlantic Ocean is working toward the north and eventually will die out as a tropical depression in the water south of Greenland. It's going to lose its tropical characteristics. That will be done so by early next week. To follow Don is Emily. Emily is the next name on the list and that could be what earns the spot there for the next system that I just showed you with the 70% chance of developing. Speaking of 70s, that'll be our overnight lows tonight. 78 Orlando, 77 degrees in Leesburg, 79 at Cocoa Beach for tomorrow, going for a 40% chance for rain so I'm leaning toward that solution of a, a little bit of a drier day that said if we get rain it'll be lucky let's hope we get rain because at this point it's a sweltering forecast 97 the high feeling like 110 rain chance is up though for early next week a 60 to 70 percent chance kind of back where we should be this time of year as far as rain chances go it is the rainy season after all and the other good news is that next week John our wind goes from the Gulf of Mexico warm hot flow to more of a refreshing easterly flow off the Atlantic so it's still gonna be hot low 90s but that's where we should be this time of year that's considered our typical high.